Welcome back everyone, my name is Altamar and we're going to be continuing our let's play of Expeditions Rome. Where we left off last time, we were at the uh, Matilene garrison. I ended up just wandering over to the warehouse to see what was there, if we missed anything, but we didn't. There was nothing of value there. We're trying to get across the Aegean, but apparently we're about to be somethinged. Maybe attacked at sea? With Carter's fleet defeated, it will take some time to move the legions into Asia. We should relocate Legio Wittrix first. Your Legionari have been sitting idle too long, Consul. They're just about put down roots. Agreed. The task of picking our path to Calcedon will be up to you. Scout ahead with the speculatories, then use Victrix to pacify the province. I will follow with Legio Prima Italica to help you hold the territory you take. This is already Roman territory. The province of Asia, or Asia, belongs to us. Pontus has invaded Asia before. Carter was made proconsul to keep Mithridates from making another attempt. Something is different this time. Pontus has support among the local population. We have to treat Asia as hostile territory. Why do the local governments support Pontus? King Mithridates has been building bridges with them for years, while exploiting the rift between the factions of the Senate. It is excellent statecraft. They are traitors, the lot of them. Crucify them. Let their deaths serve as an example for the rest. We should learn more about the political situation before we begin our invasion. That is a wise plan, but Cotter's precarious situation does not leave us much time for caution. Then we must learn on our feet, Domine. The bulk of Mithridates' army is besieging Kazikos, the only city in Asia that resisted him. With his local allies, he is too great a force for us to face. If you can discover a way to turn the other regions here against Mithridatus and make them withdraw their forces from the siege, that would aid us greatly. What about the traitor? The one who lured the legion into Archelaus ambush? He should be killed like the cockroach he is. Good that you mention it. I believe we may have found him. A Centurio called Cassius. What gave him away? He has been missing since the ambush, but a local fisherman admitted to taking him to the mainland. He speaks the local language and had family in Lesbos. Do you know where he's hiding? Not precisely, but it appears he was originally from Troas. I would say it's a safe bet you'll find him somewhere in that region. How could he have fooled us? He probably had help. Jumping to conclusions is unproductive, but I suspect he's working for Wittelius Skywiller. Forgive me, Domine, but what makes you think so? It's merely a suspicion. We shall talk about this later. We'll see what we can discover. Remember, he's no use to us dead. Disagree. Visit me and my legion's camp when you have questioned him. If okay. we're talking about interrogating spies, Calidus should be part of this. Where is he? I think he was being seasick. I shall check on him. Seasick? On this short crossing? <laughs> I have stepped in puddles of water with more current than this. All right, let's talk to people. Dominate. Scenario said nothing to say. At your service. Kezo has nothing to say. Shall we, sir? The coolest has nothing to say. Need? Bessie has nothing to say. So, let's go find Calidus. Julius Calidus is hanging off the railing of the ship, looking pale as death. Eyes fixed on the distant horizon. His left hand struggles to undo the clasps on his chainmail. Help him doff his armor. You open the clasp and pull the chainmail off of him. He struggles a little against your help and tries to speak, but instead throws himself halfway over the railing and is violently sick into the sea. Calidus sinks back down to the deck, whimpering. But it looks like being sick cleared his head somewhat. Without the armor, the feminine shape of his chest is difficult to overlook. You look like hammered ship. Or shit, Calidus. Or should I call you Calida? Pluto, take this sickness. This is not the time to talk about that. You concealed yourself well. I'm impressed. Glad to have made a good impression, at least. I was waiting for a good time to reveal the lie. Maybe give you a little more time to earn my trust. You've proven yourself to be more than capable enough. At the very least, you've earned a chance to redeem yourself. Good. I seek to be judged on my merits as a scout, a soldier, and a spy. Nothing more, and nothing less. It's about time you two met. Oh good, I was trying to decide how to break this to you. I would never have asked you to lie to the Consul on my behalf. He has been crucial in helping me maintain the deception. I was shocked at first. 
But Kalida had more than proven her worth by the time she revealed the truth to me. I can't say this comes as a surprise. I figured you had your reasons to keep the secret, so I played along. By all the gods, you are a great woman. Ah, oh, wonderful. It's turning into a whole thing. When this war is over, <laughs> I oh will God, best year. You and I would produce strong children. I will attempt to take that as a compliment. All right, people, that's enough. Give us some privacy to talk. I really am sorry I had to lie to you all. If you can find it in your hearts to forgive me, I will be honest with you from now on. You too, Legate. Truly. You have every right to feel betrayed. But I want you to keep Yulia Kalida in your Canterburnian. Militarily, you're an irreplaceable asset together. For what it's worth, I want to stay. I mean, of course I'll keep you. It's never in question. Also, I knew you were a woman from, like, the very first time I saw your character model. I'll leave you two to catch up. I have an invasion to plan. It wasn't like it was a huge surprise. Everyone else figured, well, I guess best you didn't, but Kizo Filler figured it out. I figured it out. It wasn't all that complicated. All right, let's find something to do here. Where do we go? There's a tannery somewhere. I'm gonna hit. Oh, your brief sleep is interrupted by what can only be described as the laughter of the insane. Jump to your feet, wide-eyed and disoriented. As you shake off the sleep and get out of your tent, you realize your food supplies are being attacked by a particularly vicious skulk of foxes. To arms, we have to protect the food from these accursed animals. Together with your Praetorians, you build a defensive formation around your food storage. The foxes attack relentlessly, and Bestia Tabit is badly bitten by bitten trying to kick a large vixen away from a sack of dried meat but eventually the beasts retreat and your rations are safe how did you get injured a moderate not even like a small injury a moderate leg injury from a fox you have spears just stab them it's not that hard foxes are quick and i wouldn't want to kill one personally but like if they're attacking you you can just stab them uh there's a camp here that looks like a good outpost spot there's a legion mission here I don't know what that is yet. Oh, we have to pacify the sector first, though. Uh, we need a legion to go to the any of those locations, so I'm guessing we're going to have to go this way. You've located a good place for the legion to place their outpost. Click on it now to order Legio Vitrix to move into Missia and capture the region, just like when you took over the Matilene region on Lesbos. So this is where we are going, I guess. All right, let's do this thing. Attacking. Okay, the army, enemy army strength is 1600. They have cavalry and logistics specializations. We're gonna let our army make its way over here. There it is. It's crossing the Aegean. And it has arrived. Legio Vitrix attacks the Pontic army in the Missia region. All right, they're at negative one, negative one, or yeah, whatever. I'll figure it out. I'm going to do artillery. Okay. We have a survival chance of 95%. We are 20% aggressive, 0% insubordination attempt, loyal. Okay. Go ahead. Confirm that guy. We're going to just start pumping up our artillery. If I can get this up to, ready to deploy a good amount... Engine. Uh, well, let's leave a weak center to lure them in. Yeah. Let's go. We don't want to lose too many of our troops. Enemy is hitting Our us. Have reached the enemy lines. Let's just keep artillerying spread out. Adopt a scattered formation to protect your legionary from missiles, but weaken their initial attack. Or we can do the hold position. That's probably a better one. Let's do that one. Order your legionary to brace their shields on the ground. It's a safe and orderly tactic, but the men do not like restraint. We're at six of these. And I keep trying to get more artilleries. Barely losing any troops. We've lost 240-ish, 230-ish. 
Oh, they've knocked off two of our artilleries. The That's just uncool. Um, we can stand firm. We can... Our own effort. Break formation, fight individually. The enemy will suffer heavy losses, but more legionary will go missing. Or we stand firm against the enemy. Requires sacrifices with legions. Morale benefits where no ground is yielded. Doesn't tell me what either of them are going to do, but it does increase this. Let's just... Uh, our own effort this. I don't know why this would... Lo oh, logistics. I see. I guess we could lose some... Cavil... Uh, do we want to get our cavalry back? It doesn't matter. None of these things are going to help our cavalry that much, but let's do this one. Okay. Confirm. Not as clean of a battle as the last one, but this one's not doing too bad. We've only lost a few hundred people. They're down to. They're down 900. This is it. Will to fight Give to chase. Conquer. Let's hammer them. It's not the Cut them down. We are leveling up our artillery. I like artillery. They're pretty cool. We got up to 7. I really wanted to get up to 12 because I want the loot reward of whatever. Alright. We received some denarii, some slaves, some rations. They retreated. We occupied the region. Your legion has captured the first region of Asia Minor, but Mysia hasn't been pacified yet. As soon as your legion leaves, the enemy will take over once more. In order to secure a permanent hold on the region, you have to carry out a special pacification mission. Open the quest log and track the pacification beach village quest to begin. All right, journal. That one. Beach village. Talk to your Primus Pilus. Okay. That's probably in the camp there, I'm guessing. Let's go there. Enter. All right. Do we have anything to talk to people about? Maybe with Calidus's or Calida's Dominic. news. Nope, nothing there. Bestia. What do you need? Nothing. What do you need? I, I just Salve, said nothing. Domine. Let's go talk to Calida. Did it change her name? It does change her name. That's interesting. Didn't really need to. Could have been Calidus still. What can I do for you? How does it feel to be in the Praetorian Guard of Elegatus? <laughs> about the same. Except now I'm responsible for keeping you alive as well. It's not something I'm good at, you know? Keeping people alive. You did well in Matilene. Really? I was just following directions. This grand assault kind of action is not really my thing. This is my first major battle as well. I guess we all have to improvise now and then. I... don't like improvising. The results tend to be ugly. All this time you were pretending to be a man. Must have been difficult. Wasn't really my choice. It was a matter of survival. Yulia is a little girl who spends all her time being pretty. She eventually becomes the wife of a wealthy senator, and that will be her grandest achievement. I don't want to be the center of attention. I want to be in control of my life and other people's lives. I think deep down, I always was, Yulius. I think you should be whoever you want to be. Thank you for leaving the decision to me. Few people do that. See ya. All right. I really do believe that. She can do whatever she wants. I don't care. Oh, hey, Legate. You look... Welcome back to... Wait, why are you here? Oh, hey, Legate. You are obviously not familiar with the matters of commerce. Allow me to enlighten you. There are three things every merchant needs. Location... Okay, thank you. I know the location, location, location trope. Let's talk to... Turius Orestes. Oh, hey, Legate. If you have a moment, there's a matter which I believe urgently requires your attention. Go ahead, I have time. Although our legion is quite new, they're already demonstrating superior discipline and devotion. Unfortunately, no matter how successful a military engagement is, sometimes the pacification of a region demands your personal attention. What do you mean by pacification? We have a legion, isn't that enough? It is enough to take control, but not enough to keep it. 
Pockets of resistance will always remain, and voices of dissent will be raised now and then. That's a natural part of warfare, I suppose. Indeed. We are dealing with human beings, after all. Can't their king tell them to stand down or something? There is no king. Remember, this country is rightfully a province under our republic. As we regain control, it is unfortunately inevitable that we must put in some work to stabilize each region again under Rome. Then do whatever is necessary. With all due respect, I'm not in charge of Legio Vitrix. You are responsible for making decisions. I can only give you my advice. Personal attention? You mean I have to take care of every single troublemaker who bothers us? Not at all. Your attention will be reserved for more important things. I would suggest that you delegate this kind of task to someone you trust, however. I would ask that you send members of your Praetorian Guard, supervised by someone from your personal contubernium. I understand. Let me know if such a situation arises. Remember, Legate. Until we take care of any such disturbances, we won't be able to control any territory we have captured. Left unextinguished, the embers of rebellion can turn into a roaring inferno. The local villagers have armed themselves and managed to take a number of our legionari prisoner. They're now threatening to kill them. How could villagers defeat and capture trained legionari? It's been a while since the men had some time off. This has been a prolonged campaign, Legate, and the men have certain needs. They were lured into a brothel and then beaten to near death. Not a war story they will tell often in the wine houses at home, I'm sure. Have they made any demands? They want us to leave. What if we actually leave the region? Then Mithridates will take back control of their lands and we will lose it. I'll send a group of my Praetorians to save our people. Of course. This mission demands some tact and care. Please, form a team based on those criteria. Awe, Legate. Give me a report on the Legion's manpower. We're not at full strength, but we have enough men to get things done. If a battle awaits us, we will manage. Worse, the men we do have are not very experienced. We should not be fighting any battles in this state. I should also note that we have quite a lot of people injured from the recent fighting. As soon as they're back in action, we'll be in better shape. We have many Legionari still missing in action from the recent fighting. Until they show up, or until we find them dead, we cannot replace them with fresh recruits. How's morale going? Morale has been better. Many Legionari seem disillusioned by the progress of the war. But the situation is far from unsalvageable. I believe a few victories is all the men need to rally around your command. Okay, bye. All right, let's roll. Uh, anyone to talk to in here? No. And... Okay, what's the tent? That's our command tent, right? At your service. We should probably buy a couple more people. We only have four commanders. Oh, I see. You can just buy other people to put into the squads as well. Okay. I see what's going on here. So we have a pleased vanguard, which... Do we have no infantry people still? How do we have no inf infantry? Okay, fine. Uh, this is a Velus Duelist Assassin, yes. Okay, we'll hire him as a Praetorian. Hire him as a Centurion. Okay. Put him in the Praetorian. So the Praetorian's there, Centurions are over here. Got it. Centurions are commanders, Praetorians are just guards. I understand. We need one that has the sword skill, like a tanky one. A Triarius would be good to keep in the squad. We're going to need a, a squad of people to go kill random events, so. One Triarius will be a good idea. And we'll grab an archer times two. A couple archers. Alright, there's our Praetorian Guard. We got five Praetorian Guards. We got three Centurions. I want an infantry Centurion, but we don't have any, so... I'm gonna leave that for now. Alright, how do I do this thing? So we leave. Which seems normal. Go to the map. And then our legion mission is... We have a legion mission there. 
which we can't send our legion to because we haven't pacified the sector. Okay. This is the beach village. It's way over here. So I think I have to go there and, like, scout it maybe first. And then... These are all legion things. There's gotta be things around that I can do. Well, there's at least a, uh... A cart that we can go visit. With some random junk in it. Alright, um... Do I just go there? No, I think we just have to... Oh, crap. Uh... Alright, we need to go back to the camp. I forgot all about Bestia's wound. I wonder if we can just reload the autosave before we left. Yeah, okay. I forgot to put um, Bestia in the infirmary to treat his leg. It does not do it on its own. Okay. In we go. I wonder if we can do it from the main screen. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Alright, where's the tent? There's a tent. That has a medical sign. Put Bestia in there, along with someone to heal him. Oh, this is a barracks. Okay, uh, you are medical, so you can go there. Anyone else got medical skills? No. Pull you out again. Sorry, what is this? Self-treatment, they can treat themselves. Doctor. Okay, so he's gonna treat... Um... Oh, okay. We just put him in the dispensary and call it a day. Okay, you're going there. 84 hours to cure from a fox wound? Come on, my dude. Alright, now we can leave. <laughs> I still have to figure out how to do this mission thing. We have to rescue the legionari who have been captured by the locals. Because they're stupid, apparently. Also, that, can't, that town they went to is quite a ways away for a brothel. And you, let's see what we can do here. So, how do I do this? All right, we'll just go there and see if it just helps out. Now the bestie is not going to die immediately. Let's just go all the way over there. We'll go to the town and we'll see if we can go into it. Alternatively, yeah, we can't click on the pacification thing. It doesn't do anything. So we'll just go. Wait. I want this thing again. We must zoom in. Apparently it wasn't close enough. There's also a chest there, a campfire there, and more things that we... Well, that may be something we can go visit. We'll find out. Alright, here we go. You must delegate pacification missions like this to a group of Praetorians led by one of your most trusted companions. We're going to send in... Queso... Oh, we can only have one companion. Wait. Must not be filled by a companion. Okay, so we have to send in three other people. Who do we want to send in? We have a... Uh, a Velus. We'll send in that guy. A Triarius. Sure. And a Princeps for tanking. Good enough to me, I guess. Although we don't have any archers. Velus, Triarius, Princeps. We could put an archer in instead of the Velus, I guess. Okay. Oh, and we can have two more. Oh, I see. Never mind. Okay, let's bring all the people. It was always good to have six. Even though sometimes you only need four. More is always better in this kind of game. So there are four people up there and two... Are those enemy tree? No, those are... I think those are our friends. But let's move up. We don't want to be back this far. There's no point in staying all the way back there. And I guess you can go there. And you can go here. And you can go up here. What's over on this side? Oh, there's a, there's one guy over there. Um, uh, And a couple more guys. Is that an archer? 
Maybe we should split a tiny bit of our forces off. Uh, no. They can, what did they come up? We'll shoot them with our archers. That's fine. Okay. Maybe we'll move our archers up here, too. I need you to go up here. And beat down the shield. Okay, so needs to come up here. It's a slash skill. You must try harder. Oh, right, he has uh, Archelaus' as a unique sword. Does a lot of damage. Let's get up to here. Rupture is bleeding. Precise stab can't be blocked. Lacerate adds damage if bleeding. Okay, well, let's just start with that one. He's now bleeding. That's a good start. Extend his three hexes. Hamstring is. He's got a knife. He's got a good weapon. This guy's got armor though, which is annoying. Well, let's make it so he can't move. A glancing, really a glancing blow. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, move to cover here. Can we shoot this guy? Yes. What is that? Barbed arrow. More bleeding, but we're not going to put more bleeding on him. kind of want to make other people bleed more, but... Oh, okay. Glancing blow again. We're getting lots of glancing blows. Let's get a barbed arrow on this guy. He might just die. Cool. Alright, I think that's everyone's turn. We are well protected here. That guy died. That guy got his shield all back, but then almost died from bleed, but not quite. That guy is not an archer, although I thought I was for a second. That hurt a little. That guy's coming up. Doesn't have any focus, which is fine. One damage. There is some more enemies on this side. There's a Velus over... Did that have Something like that anyways. This guy's got a bunch of armor. He's pretty much the same as the other guy we're fighting up here. Very tanky. Very annoying to kill. Yes, yeah, so you guys stay back there. Don't hit my archers. What is that guy doing? Shooting very long range. Okay. Um, we need to take down this shield. Is he still bleeding? He'll just bleed to death. We don't need to worry about him. But we can't move unless we kill him because we will die. Or we'll take damage. Which is unfortunate. Alright, we need to kill him. Who wants to waste their attack? Scared of a shield. Hit him. He does not get his ability back because that's not how it works. You can stop him from moving. Keizo can come in and hit him. Or hit this guy and almost maybe kill him in one head. Not quite, but pretty close. Wait, you... Can we shoot this guy? Even if we hit this guy for seven, we can't kill him. We can make him crippled, which isn't really going to help our situation all that much. Five damage, and... We need to move, but we... If we move, we die, which is annoying. He's dealing with an action point left. We're going to take a hit, aren't we? I don't think we can shoot in melee. Yep, that's gonna hurt. Oh, he's disarmed. Never mind. We can maybe shoot in melee, but we just couldn't because we were disarmed. That was a dumb thing I did. Okay, fair enough. I guess we could just push him away. Must be a free hex behind the target. We could try and kill this guy, I guess. We've already taken the AOO, so... Just kick him in the shins. 
and then move him back. And you can also move to like way up here, uh, but not next to that guy. Can we free these guys to get them to help us? I guess it's possible. Next turn we'll try that. Formation. Slow and steady. He just moved past all my people. I took no AOs. That's uncool. He probably has that talent that allows him to do that. Let them come to us. Good, they're far away now. Okay. Um Stab this guy in the face. Stab this guy in the face. Move to there, I guess. Two stacks of bleeding. That should mostly kill him. Okay, can we get these guys free? I'm gonna try. Yes. You just have to walk into range of them and it looks like they are free. Cool. That guy died. That guy's panicking. You can stab that guy from here. Shredded one of his armor. Who do we have left to do things with? You. Can come up here and free this guy. And then also take a shot at someone. He's also very hurt. There we go. I'm going to keep him back. Don't want him to get wounded. And anyone got action points? Yes, Queso does. We can just jump down here, I guess. Smash this person with a shield for a bunch of damage. Six damage. And then just kind of move back. Anyone have action points left? No. Except for our friends who are going to go charge in and... Oh my god, just murder people. They're just finishing off people, which is fine, I guess. As many troops. We stay here. They must fight on our terms. You're all idiots. We're going to die. Strike my shield all you want. That's why I brought it. Now. One glancing damage. Slow and steady. Okay, so we're going to come over this way, I think. Take out these guys, grab these two guys, and then we'll loop around, grab these guys, and then we'll come up back here. I think that's going to be our goal. Almost killed that one. Finish him off. And then we move up to, like, here. Can't see either of those guys, which is annoying. Might be able to see this guy if we stand up here, though. Shoot right down at him. He's in cover. Can't see him. Oh, we killed that one. Okay. So what is down here? There is a... Militia and another... Light person, which is fine. It's easy enough to kill. I think most of the main bulk of their troops have come up here to fight us. Let's just go up to here. There's not some sort of weird archer death squad over here somewhere that I missed, right? No. Okay. There's that guy, but we're going to deal with him later. Really hoping those guys don't go charging down the stairs. Can't see that guy. We'll just have to see if he moves. No. No. Okay, that's fine. I guess for now. That guy's moving back. I'm just hoping that archer doesn't kill our friend. I'm hoping they move it back up. We'll find out, I guess. Soon. 
Okay, move up to here. We can shoot down at them. So we can't see them, apparently. How can you not see them? That's a very clear line of sight. Oh, well, whatever. Down the stairs we go. I wonder if we can just move straight to these guys. Basically, yeah. Oh, they brought more friends. Okay. Well, they brought one more friend, I guess. Anyone from this side? No. Okay, so there's one more hoplite that I wasn't expecting. I suppose you can shoot from all the way up here, eh? Yes. Yes, we can. Alright, let's move down. Anyone else got movement left? You do. Just come all the way down here. I think that's pretty much going to be the end of our turn. That guy's dead. That guy got hit for a ton. That guy's also dead. Cover your angles. They will not take us by surprise. Where is he going? Not that I'm complaining, I just don't know what he's doing. Alright, we need to get up to here and free these people now. Holy crap, that guy can shoot far. That's like the whole map. Alright then, let's just uh, keep going, I guess. That was a very impressive shot, I gotta say. Move one more space, but we're not going to. That's fine. All right, uh, that's it for that turn. Fine. You can help me if you will hold still, by Jupiter. Thank you for that. Bring the fight to us. Oh, that guy's gonna go off on his own. I don't know where he's going. He's being real weird. And he's gonna be on fire. Someone's gonna be on fire. We deflected it, but we're burning. We can get the fire off of ourselves, though, I think. Oh, we resisted burning. Okay, sweet. That's even better. All right, let's go get this person. And then we'll move up to here. Move up to cover here. I guess we can come all the way up to here. No point in not doing that. That archer is going to be such a pain in the ass to kill, though. If we can get up to here, we can shoot in at him. Okay, so we'll move up to here then. And then up to there. You can uh, come this way, I guess. I guess you can move up a little bit more. You can't really be seen there. Although we might be hit by that hoplite, which is less than good, but that's fine. Whatever. You can move four more spaces. So go this way. And you can move two, but it would be a bad decision. So that guy's coming on our side. We have three enemies left, I think. Four. We have one archer. We have these two guys. And we have... Oh, you ran out into the middle? Why? Also, there's more enemies, I think, that just spawned behind us. No, those are our allies just moving around. Okay, so there's a Hoplite, for sure. And those guys are coming at us. Which is fine, kind of. Actually, it's not that good. We need to shred this guy's shield really badly. Which we did. Okay, that's cool. Let's shoot him. Okay, we got him bleeding. We're gonna go back and hide in this corner. His shield is done. 
and he's hurt. He's not dead by any measure, but we're doing okay. Move you up to there. Move you up to there. You can also move up to here, I guess. You guys are all good on your turn. You've moved into cover. You can't do anything. We do have cure on him, but we stopped our bleeding anyways. All right. Um, who's got his my dash point? You do. But we can't get into range of any... Well, I guess we could move more, but... Would that be a bad idea? No, actually, I think it's fine. Let me take a shot from a archer, but otherwise I think we'll be okay. Oh, we might lose a guy. Oh no! Oh, it's Velus. Wait, that's our friend Velus? I guess? Uh, let's go free... Do we free someone or we just go in and kill someone? Can we even reach anyone? No, just move up and free this guy. Get him in the fight. And then also go over here and free this guy. Get him in the fight. There we go. We can save him in a second here. We need to stab this guy's shield out of the way again. Get up here and don't do anything because we're not in range. Super. Alright. Move over to here. Can't see him. Move over to here. Can definitely see him. Finish him off. Get into cover. You move up to here. Shoot that guy. If we can see him. Good. And then just stay there. That's fine. Who's left? We need to get up to that archer. All the way up the stairs. And that's uh, pretty well it. Stay in cover and wait for the enemy. We'll save the Velus. I don't know what you guys are doing, but it's not being particularly useful. To your team. Who is us? Uh, Alright, we can switch weapons. And, uh... Oh, we need to heal. Wrong guy. That's trying to stabilize the wrong target. There we go. Let's get him back up. You're fine. Stopped with bleeding out. He's golden. Where'd the archer end up? Where did the enemy archer end up? Oh, he's... No, it's a barrel. Oh, we don't have an archer left. We just have this guy left. Okay. Who do we have left that's available to stab him? Go stab him. Go stab him. And that's that. Sweet. Saved everyone. No one took an injury. We have pacified this. Current followers gained 60. Other Praetorians gained 30 experience. That's good. There's a lot of loot probably to grab. I'm going to guess. At the very least, we have just all of the corpses. There's a lot of corpses. And sometime, somehow we're stuck. There we are. Okay. Go and loot the bodies, please. Spikes, packed l Oh, we took someone's packed lunch. Someone's partner or mother or father packed them a lunch. They're like, hey, have a good kidnapping day. And then we murdered them. They didn't even get a chance to eat their lunch. Well, that is just rude of us. We're the bad people here. It's very clear. There's horses up there. Any other loot? If we go as high as... Po For some reason, the camera angle in this zone is very bad in terms of being able to see very far. So uh, we're going to go up here to the top of this hill and then look down. I don't see anything glowing, so I think we got everything. Other than the horses, of course, that are glowing. But whatever. All right. 
I think that's going to be it. We've pacified a province. I don't know what that means, but I know it means that we pacified it and we are awesome. Sector conquered. We now control this tiny little zone. Send our legion to capture a lumber mill. Okay, we can do that. The lumber mill is this one. Dispatch legion. It's going to take us seven hours to march there. Wait, if it takes seven hours to march there, right? To the lumber mill and back? This thing was like a 14 hour walk to this brothel area. My dudes, find a closer town. Or send someone, right? Your party's running through another of these poor yet idyllic villages that dot every part of the landscape of Asia Minor. And just as you're turning onto a path snaking out of the village and away into the mountains, an older couple respectfully wait for you to stop. In a low voice, they introduce themselves to be as locals loyal to Rome. They're trying to be discreet because most of their fellow villagers are on the side of the of Mithridates in this war. Mithridates in this war. From their neighbors, the couple has learned that an army raised from locals by one of Mithridates' generals is marching to attack Mysia. From what you are told, you surmise that the army is already underway and will reach the destination within a day's time. You have a little opportunity to prepare, but perhaps you can find a way to slow them down. Assign a Praetorian to round up some Legionari and harry the enemy with hit-and-run tactics all the way to their destination, slowing them down. We're gonna send... Who's good at... I don't know who's good at this. Um... Does it tell me what their focuses are? No. Of course it doesn't. Send... I wanted, like, the cavalry guy, but I don't know who that is. So just send you. Isius or Solus discusses the plan with you in great detail before he mounts up and sets off down a dusty path in the direction of the nearest scout outpost to recruit some help for the dangerous task you've entrusted him with. Missia is already well defended by the Legion garrison there. Hopefully your preparations will help your Legionari maintain control of the region. The enemy's mobilizing to strike one of the regions we can. They're conquered. Mouse over the corresponding icon to see the timeline when we're going to get hit. If the threatened region doesn't have your legion garrison when the enemy reaches, they'll simply take it without a fight, and you'll need to capture it back. Okay, got it. What's the timeline on this thing? Okay, I'm trying to scroll over it, but you're not showing me anything here. Right-click, maybe? No? Tab, alt... Maybe it's just this is in the way. There we go. Nope, maybe that's not it either. Hmm. Alright, well, our legion should be done pretty soon, right? I would imagine. It doesn't say when... This is gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, well, let's grab our main people and just go to the... Our army's back in the camp anyway, so it doesn't matter. Take all of that. We're gonna go all the way up here. Grab this... I don't know why I didn't grab this treasure first. It was much closer before, but whatever. There's mountaintop ruins. I think we can go visit. Yep, that's something we can go do. There's also whatever this is. I don't know what that is yet. I guess we're not close enough to know. And I think we're going to end the video pretty quick here. I'm sure we're over time. In fact, I am 100% sure we're way over time. Got some gear. Alright, I think for now we're going to end the video here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. I'll we'll see you next time. I'm going to figure out how to see when this attack is happening. Like, it says that the red thing, and you scroll over it for... For, um... The timeline, but... I mean, I'm not seeing a timeline. I might go take, like, the uh, hunting grounds in the meantime. It'll take one hour and 29 minutes. The rewards are pretty good. We get a... We need a bunch of manpower for it. Gives us some supplies. Or we can go to the tannery, which I can't see, because 
Okay. I get it. Thank you. The tannery. Which needs nine hours. And we need a bunch of stuff. Well, we need some men, but... It costs us 125 denarii and five slaves. But then we get some upgrades. That's actually probably a good idea. Okay. And uh, main group can go to the well. I think that's just water, though, to be honest. There's a quarry there. That's what it is. Okay. Half-packed camp. Today, Fortuna smiles on you. Traveling a dusty path, you catch a glimpse of a colorful tent cloth around a bend and decide to investigate cautiously. You find a small camp seemingly packed up in quite a hurry. A bunch of stuff left behind. Collect all the valuables. There's a war going on. And if these people are, had to leave their camp in such a hurry, they're unlikely to ever return. You instruct your people to collect whatever they find of value and then you move on. With some Praetorians using things. Anyways, we're calling here. Take care, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye.